Once wax patterns are sprued, they are weighed to calculate the amount of alloy needed for casting. Direct sprue with attached wax pattern is added to the ring base. The connections between the sprue, wax pattern, and base should be free of sharp corners or constricted areas so the molten alloy can flow smoothly and fully fill in the mold before cooling during casting. Before investing, the ring with its contents is debubbleized or a wetting agent and dry with an air gun to reduce surface tension and to prevent porosity. Carefully handled and mixed investment is poured to the angled investment ring to prevent air from being trapped in the mold. When filling wax patterns with investment, the wax patterns should not be touched with a spatula as separation from the sprue or base or breakage of margins can occur making the wax pattern unusable. Once filled with investment, the ring is placed in a, in a pressure unit to further remove bubbles from investment resulting in smoother castings. When the investment properly sets, the mold is removed from the plastic ring and placed in the burner oven where all wax gets eliminated and mold becomes clean of gases and residue so the molten alloy can enter the mold during casting. Once the hot molten alloy fills the ring during casting, the ring is placed aside to cool. Divesting starts with the opening of the ring with a hammer or mallet. Proper personal protective equipment should be worn. When breaking up the investment, the hammer should contact the investment at the metal button to prevent damage to the thin margins of the restorations hidden inside the investment. When recovered, the casting is sandblasted with aluminum oxide. When desprewing, the separating disc is used to separate the casting from metal sprue. The surface of the metal coping is finished with stone or carbide burrs and checked for fit and accuracy on the master model.